Once again, happy Wednesday, everybody. Tonight's monologue is dedicated to all our friends on the left who are failing upward. Leading the charge, VP Kamala Harris. It's the only time she's ever led, and congrats. <laughs> According to a new poll from NBC, which is like a news network, but with Chuck Todd, <laughs> Kamala is the most unpopular VP in recorded history. Think about that. She beat out Al Gore, <laughs> some guy named Biden, and even Dick Cheney, and he shot a guy in the face. <laughs> he had it coming, though, I think. I really don't know that story too well. Anyway, so who says women can't beat men when given the chance? Yes, ladies, you too can suck every bit as much as men. She truly is the Bud Light of Veeps. Roll the latest, Sven. I'm going to tell you the banger of the summer, okay? Yeah, okay? That you need to play for your people, and they're going to love it. Okay. Everybody's going to go crazy. Okay. I like it. Yes. I like this is it. the song of the summer, okay? <laughs> so you need to tell the DJ to have that going, okay? Okay. okay. All right. You ready to see Stonewall? Okay. Oh, that was brutal. I haven't heard so much forced laughter since Kimmel hosted the Oscars. It was more uncomfortable than Hunter Biden on Bring Your Daughter to Work Day. <laughs> but even with Kamala's approval numbers in CNN territory, she's still a heartbeat away from the presidency. And when I say a heartbeat, I'm assuming that Joe still has one. <laughs> he isn't even working at half speed anymore. Here he is talking about Putin. To what extent has Vladimir Putin been weakened by recent events? It's hard to tell, but he's, he's clearly losing the war in Iraq. He's losing the war at home. Oh, my God. We are in some deep <laughs> trouble. <laughs> hey, Iraq, Ukraine, tomato, tomato. Let's just invade both. Still, the Dems want Kamala right beside the president, perhaps in case he falls. At this point, she's less a vice president and more a visiting angel. Visiting angels, America's choice in home care. <laughs> If only that were true, at least then she'd be useful. Instead, she disappears for days or weeks, only to be found in Joe's kitchen, lacing his insure with Prestone. <laughs> She's like a cicada, surfacing occasionally to make an annoying noise. Her staff hates her. She really is the Janice Dean of politicians. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Who told you? I know. <laughs> it's all the scuttlebutt. Still, her chances of going from VP to P continue to rise. But isn't this all supposed to work the other way around? Aren't we supposed to be rewarding success and not failure? I mean, how about Karine Jean-Pierre? She just goes to show you, you could be historic and still suck. Many things that made me incredibly proud to be at that podium uh, during this historic moment. Again, this is a historic administration. I'm a historic figure, and I certainly walk in history every day. You're not supposed to tell people you're historic. <laughs> Other people tell you that you're historic, okay? And you are historic. You're the first press secretary ever to rely solely on the Fifth Amendment. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, as mayor of South Bend, Pete Buttigieg presided over a 75% rise in crime, <laughs> including record homicides. There would have been even more drive-by shootings if it weren't for all the potholes. True, the streets had more gaping wounds than Sonny Corleone at a toll booth. Yeah, big Godfather fans out there. <laughs> Not many, apparently. <laughs> but all Biden cared about was that the guy married a dude and the new job would be his honeymoon. What could go wrong, right, huh? <laughs> no wonder the nation's tarmacs are a mess and no one seems to care. And wait, did the teachers union actually force our schools to stay closed and your kids can't read or write at grade level anymore? Then why not give Randy Weingarten a gig with Homeland Security School Safety Board? <laughs> Just absolutely no security background. But then again, her face alone could scare off the Wagner group. <laughs> but you see a trend, don't you? It's as plain as the bolts in John Fetterman's neck. <laughs> I know. When the rest of us fail, something admittedly I know very little about... We take our lumps and we walk away. But when the left's chosen ones flunk, and boy, do they ever, 
Their careers defy gravity like Jerry Nadler's pants. <laughs> Look at that. How does that, how does that stay up? Anthony Fauci, who presided over grants of U.S. tax dollars to the Chinese lab that almost certainly invented COVID, well, he'll soon join the staff at Georgetown as a distinguished professor of infectious diseases. After all, who's a better expert of infectious diseases than the president of its fan club? And what do former New York Mayor Bill de Blasio and former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot have in common? You know, other than making up one half of the Adams family? <laughs> That's true. Yeah, it's all right. More like two fifths. They're both teaching at Harvard. Oh. You know the crime rate in those classes are going to skyrocket. I hope there's extra credit for public urination. And what about fired SFDA Chesa Boudin? Well, he went to Berkeley Law. Disgraced FBI Director James Comey went to Columbia Law. And Hillary Clinton, she went to Columbia's School of Public Affairs. Public Affairs. <laughs> yeah, I'll just say him anyway. But it does sound like a course her husband should be teaching. I mean, you could even lose the L and it would still work. <laughs> Lesson one would be the proper use of cigars. But hey, in Hillary's defense, I hear she's a killer behind the podium and in Jeffrey Epstein's jail cell. Well, what are you booing for? <laughs> Look, we all know that academia is where lefty failures go to make future lefty failures. But for all their education, no one taught them the meaning of meritocracy. It's supposed to be one of America's basic principles. It inspires achievement and excellence. You reward success, and the nation gets stronger. Ignore that, and you have a round robin of cronyism that undermines quality in our roads, our schools, our government, our leaders. But if America is going to survive and compete with nations that actually send their kids to school, we better stop protecting and rewarding failures just because they check a box. But since I'm a glass half full kind of guy, and I am, if we do end up with four more years of Kamala, at least we always got the bongos. Just look around. Just look around. Together. Here. People of every background. I wish you could see what I'm looking at. People of every background, every age. From everywhere. Together. Let's oh, welcome tonight's guest. He has crumpets and tea and crushes lefties with glee. Fox News contributor Douglas Murray. She's a meteorologist and a urologist because she made Andrew Cuomo wet his pants. Fox News senior meteorologist and a team. Laugh and the world laughs with you. Cry and you're at one of his shows. Founder of the LoftusParty.com, Michael Loftus. And finally, her husband goes to a slaughterhouse for some peace and quiet. Fox News <laughs> contributor, Cat Tip. <laughs> Douglas, always a pleasure to see you. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was unnecessary. <laughs> so, Janice, oh. I'm kidding. Oh. So what do you make of this trend? Is it indeed a trend? That, but basically, this is what happens if you, if you make the number one priority what a person looks like and not what a person does. Yeah, I mean, uh, internationally, there's always this kind of a joke. That people always joked about American politicians being uh, lacking in eloquence, should we say. Mm -hmm. uh, there were always jokes about Dan Quayle, mm -hmm. uh, well, I mean, Reagan even back in the day, Bush, uh, you know, every Republican. And this was always an international joke and always kind of uh, actually ill-suited. But the Democrats, I'm like, that should be the real joke. I mean, they are competing in ineloquence at the moment. I mean, every time you see one of them speaking in front of another one, you think, 
wow, they're taking lessons. Yeah. Uh, you, you remember last year when, uh, when Biden welcomed the new Supreme Court justice and he said, you know, you can sum up America in one word and Kamala Harris is standing beside him. <laughs> you can see in her eyes she's thinking, oh, no. <laughs> and he said, I think I've got this right, he said, I am for Tom, for Tom, sorry, excuse me, Himalayas. And he, yes. That's roughly how it came out. That was and, exact, that's exactly and, phonetically correct. And, and, uh, and even Kamala Harris looked like she thought he hadn't quite got it right. <laughs> And then, and then the other day, Biden is Biden is there when uh, when Fetterman is 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 talking, and he's looking on, and Fetterman turns and seems to be rather surprised at the president's beside him, and calls the president a collapsed bridge. Yes, and if you saw, it was sort of, it, and and even Biden's like looking at him, thinking, <laughs> I'm not sure this is going so well. So. Uh, I just, I just don't really understand. Then you've got the whole Kamala problem, and even without bongos. Uh, yeah. um, I was know. noticing, you know, even the bongos are starting to wear off on the audience. The bongos used to make them laugh. Now they just want it to die. Make the bongos go away, Janet. I love them. I do, too. Bongos make everything better, including other bongos. That was the most interesting I have ever seen Kamala Harris yes. on yeah. television. Yes. That didn't make me cringe and want to, like, cower in a corner. Yeah. I mean, when she became the vice president, I was kind of rooting for her a little bit. You know, glass ceiling, female vice president, next in line to the president. It doesn't matter what party. It was, it was a moment for women. And then she opens her mouth. <laughs> and it's... I, I'm so, I apologize, it's, but I can't. It's hard. It's like a Seinfeld episode. It's like, it's always about nothing. And But she does it so well. Like, she thinks she's doing well, and the rest yeah. of her, us are like... Oh, no. <laughs> she is a giggle machine, but she may end up having the last laugh. I mean, if mm. President B croaks, she's president, and then we're all screwed. By the way, did you get my present? I did not. I, I, I sent you some denim bed sheets. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to add them to my collection. <laughs> uh, I, it is, here's the thing. Is it our fault that it's so easy to make fun of her? Because, like, the thing is, it's kind of like what Janet says. You, you kind of were rooting for her, but she's so bad. Yep. I, I was never rooting for her. <laughs> and, and I tell you what, it's, it's all theater. I feel like as a nation, we're being punked. Yeah. Right? That somewhere Ashton Kutcher is just like, all right, let's give him Joe Biden and see what they do now. And then with Kamala Lala Ding Dong, uh, the visiting angel of death, yeah. who, who's just waiting. Like, the only upside is, like, if something were happening to Joe and then Kamala would get in, we should all, like, embrace her like crazy. Mm -hmm. So, like, we're all in on the joke. It would terrify our enemies. That's true. If, if like... Now, granted, her speeches are going to be... We're going to have to white-knuckle through those. Yes. Those are going to be yes. a long time. Yeah, that's a great point. It, it is like a turbulent flight. When you're listening to her speak, you're yeah. holding on to the chair. <laughs> you really are. Like, her State of the Union address would be, like, days. Okay? Because, like, as a nation... Okay? <laughs> and... Thank you so much. Our only hope is if, like, we did, like, a call and response thing. Like, when you go to mass and, like, yeah. the, the, the priest says, and be with you, and then everybody says it back. Yeah. If America played along. So every time Kamala would go, okay, as a nation, we're like, okay. <laughs> and that would terrify our enemies. You're starting to make it sound like it might be fun. Kat, have you ever been rewarded for failing? Doesn't this bother you, these people failing upward? We have to achieve in order to succeed. Yeah, because not only are they losers, but also they're expensive losers. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> there are so many kids going to school, going into debt to learn from losers. Mm. And it's just a horrible model, but it's still working, you know, yeah. the universities themselves. But I think I figured out Kamala. What? I think I finally figured it out. Because you know how we know from all these articles that are super well-sourced, well-researched, that she's like a tyrant to work for. She's right. a total jerk. So clearly what she's doing in all these interviews, all these appearances, all these speeches, is she is pretending to be happy and friendly. Right. Now, that gets confusing, that this is what she thinks a happy, friendly person acts like. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, where was your case study, Bonnaroo? Yeah. Because <laughs> she seems to be acting like a person who is artificially happy due to polysubstance drug abuse. Right. <laughs> It's such a good point. It's like, it's like the person that always tries to be, ha, 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 ha everybody yeah. loves me, is always a monster. Yeah. I mean, that's all, the, all, everybody says that about Ainsley. Well, that, that's, that's why, but that's why you made that joke about Janice, because Janice is like an actually happy, nice person. Right. 
My husband, he joined Twitter for the first time a few months ago when he was, people are mean on there, I don't know if you guys know that, <laughs> but people say mean things about me that are horrible, whatever, Cam comes in, he's like, Twitter's awful, and I'm like, what? He's like, people are mean to Janice. <laughs> it's like, how can you be mean to Janice Dean? I'm like, I know. There's a song, how can you be mean to Janice Dean? I truly can't imagine it. I can, I'm th it's in my head right now. You can only say that because you know him, you really can't. <laughs> All right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.